Hey, what's up guys? It's me again. Clem from Clem Try Vlog. As I mentioned on one of my previous vlog, having good storage for a long distance ride is essential. Essential. And today I'm going to do an open box and review a frame bag that I brought from eBay a few weeks ago. So that's the one, let me bring it out and have a look. So this frame bag, most of you may not have heard about it, even myself. It is simply just known as b Soul. So if some of you are on tight budget like me, this frame bag might be something that you might looking into it. But please bear in mind, this is not a sponsor video. So all things that I'm going to say will be all based on my own opinion. Alright, before we test this frame bag, let me just have a bit of an introduction of this company. So this frame bag, Produced by Nanna Reza Bicycle Accessory, which is based in Chenzhou or Fujian in China. Okay, I brought this from eBay for $16. So this is made with polyester with the size of 28 cm, 13 cm, and 5 cm. With this kind of size, I reckon it is a very good size for you to put all your important stuff for long distance ride. If you want to know what I usually carry on my long distance ride, you can check on one of my previous videos regarding how I prepare and plan for my long distance ride. So this is very light, it's just 70 gram. So don't tell me it will impact your speed with this weight. And with this design, I really believe it is designed in an aerodynamic style. So I checked online, it was designed in a few different colors. They have the option with black and blue, black and red, yellow with green, totally grey and mine totally black. So like what I say, I'm in tight budget. So I'm really happy to find something that I can afford and does the work for me. So there are three tests that I'm going to do on this bag. It's the solid, stability, and the last one, waterproof. Let's go now. Alright, what I'm going to do now is to install this frame bag into my bike. So this is the frame bag on the frame. So this is how it looks like. Looks good, looks fashionable. It's in triangle shape, so you can see it's actually quite narrow. So regarding the whole back, it's actually quite soft. It's not a solid type, so I'm not too confident whether it can hold a lot of uh, stuff inside it. So first thing I'm going to try is see how strong the strap. I'm going to start pulling it and see whether it can support, stick it strong. So the strap seem, seems like quite strong. It will fall off. So the next thing I'm going to do is try to put uh, a lot of stuff inside. Alright, seems like very full now, so I'm going to zip it up. So first thing that I found out that the material is actually not strong. So when you get heavy and heavy here, it's actually very hard for you to zip the back so now after i put all the things inside it's actually quite heavy now i'm going to try to shake it and see whether the strap will drop or not so as you can see it's actually keep moving around so this is what the second things i actually don't really like it is because if you carry a lot of stuff in the frame back and you start uh, riding and this one will be keep shaking might also be hitting your leg when you're riding so let me just try to uh, make it tight a little bit alright let's do it again after I tied up the stripe nice it looks like slightly better so which means that you have to tighten your stripe uh, a lot firmer but back to the bottom line is you won't be carrying a lot of stuff inside your frame bag usually people put the multi tools the inner taste on the Set it back. So let, let us try to bring out some of the things that we don't need. All right, now I'm just going to put my wallet. My mobile phone? Where was? Let's have a try. Easy to zip. Shake it. Now you can see it's not shaking. Hey, that's pretty good. Okay, the last thing I'm going to try, see how good is the waterproof. So I brought a very dry cloth I'm going to put inside the back What's my next thing going to do? Of course, spray some water and then I'm going to check whether the cloth is still dry inside the back Oh 
okay now i'm going to bring it out and see whether it is what it advertised waterproof it's dry wow so which means it's waterproof that's what i want i don't want my mobile phone my wallet or some other equipment inside that got wet while i'm riding uh during the rainy day that's good that's one of the pro that i like okay with this uh frame bag that i brought online from ebay with 16 dollars that's the work there's some pros and some cons as well so as long as that's the work it keep me uh a bit of storage place it's not bulky it's not going to cause much wind resistant and it actually help me to carry some of the stuff that i don't have to carry all on my backpack or not it does the job 16 bucks from ebay that's it so that's it for today's video regarding an open box and review one of the frame bag i brought from ebay with just 16 dollars don't forget i'm clem the true explorer from clem travelog i see you on my next adventure bye bye